Hey, what's up, guys? It is No Hat Beardham here. Today, we have 35 mods on the testing list. Five mods were released, and something very interesting has popped up on SteamDB. Let's check it out. Let's start with the mods and testing. Today, we've got 35 mods on the list. 27 of those are in Stage 1 or PC testing, and 8 are in Stage 2 or console testing. Some notable mods on the PC list include the Komatsu Forwarder Pack, Decorative Construction Trailer, and Plant Protection Products Pack. Say that five times fast. Also, PC testing, we have Beet Pulp Plant, Hose Trailer, John Deere 445, and the Cat 7495HD. Rounding out PC testing, we have the Crisoni CRX Headers, Case H Axle Flow 130 Series, and five or six maps, which is always nice. Jumping down to console testing, we have Disinfection Basin, which was at the top of the PC list for some reason, Lime Production, Lizard Calf Huts, still getting popular, and Self Made Front Weight Box. Rounding out console testing, we have Grain Storage with Hen House. Cow Barn L Shape, which I think came out today, Chrome GX 520, and Shopping Cart. Man, that shopping cart's been a testing forever. With all that being said, we still have 241 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is about 14 work days. In addition to the mods and testing, five mods were released today on the end game mod up, including the Lieber Crane and the Deutz Do 6 Series Remake. Let's extend this because I want to show you it will actually zoom out all the way enough. Look, it's still zooming out. So stupid. I've already made a video showing these off, so make sure you check out that video if you haven't seen it already. Something interesting from the world of SteamDB has popped up today. Build 1.14 for FarmSim 22 was created and is being worked on and tested right now by Giant Software. It's not out yet to the public, but I do think we're all expecting this to be the update that brings the next DLC, which is still showing as a known app. I'm not as familiar with the history page on SteamDB as I am with the DLC page, but will be linked below if you'd like to check it out for yourself. Currently, if you're curious, the game is on version 1.13.1.1, which was released on January 18th. Giant Software have also dropped a press release talking about this year's FarmCon, which will be held at Fent in Marktoberdorf, Germany, on Saturday, Sunday, July 6th and 7th. The main speakers have been revealed. Christian Amann is the CEO, Boris Stefan, head of publishing, Manuel Leitner, uh, gameplay lead programmer, and Stefan Morris, lead integrator. Giant Software promises an in-depth look at what's to come, which we all expect to be seeing the next game, the Farming Simulator franchise, maybe Farm Sim 25, and in addition to being able to play the latest Farming Simulator installment, I think they're talking about Farm Sim 22 and 23 there, as well as Farm Sim Kids. FarmCon 24 will be host to the FSL and Season 5 World Championships as well. Games starting at 4 p.m. local time, Saturday, July 6th, that's 3 p.m. UK, 10 a.m. Eastern, and 7 a.m. Pacific. There will be many of your favorite English-speaking creators returning to FarmCon this year, including myself, Farmer Cop, Mr. Silly P, Virtual Farmer, Farm Sim Guy, Arxy Gaming, Omatana, who also speaks German, and more. Tickets are 15 euros and can be purchased via the link below. We've got some important information today on a few mods that have recently been released. First is the Kinsey Multifruit Planters Pack by Chris S. and Riley S. There's an issue where the AI workers are not working when the new roller function is enabled. The mulching function still works as intended with AI, as does the standard planter. You can still use it to mulch and roll, but you will have to do the work yourself and can't hire a worker. Chris S. and Riley S. are currently looking into a solution to fix this and are looking into possibilities that would work to correct it without using a custom script. Usually things are a little bit easier on PC. They also say to keep in mind that this is not considered a game-breaking bug and will not be corrected until another update is ready to release. So to wrap it up, if you're using a worker to do the work, don't add the roller function at this time. Additionally, yesterday, update 121 was released for the Stone Picker Forge Pickup Trailer Pickup Pack Pack by Mac Trucker 921 Pack. <laughs> when recording the update in the new mod video yesterday, I accidentally read out changelog 1.2 so here is the new changelog, the real one, for 121. They fixed an issue that the Forge pickup trailer would not unload if not 100% full, and the pickup was not raised before folding, and they cleaned up the XML files. I do apologize for missing that one. HR Forced also say that they missed some errors when updating their Scorpion King and Komatsu Forwarder packs. They're currently working on fixing these and submitting the updates for all platforms as soon as possible. Unfortunately, I have no idea what these errors are, and it doesn't seem like the comment section knows either, but just heads up when using these. And if you're curious, the Scorpion King was updated last week and the Komatsu was released on Tuesday, if that helps you pick out which mods are which. So then, let's talk about some new topics. Connect modding 
Boeing have released both fact sheets for their Puma 185 and 230. In addition to, I believe, teasing a new map based on the Sao Paulo region of Brazil. We don't know much about the map itself, at least as of yet, but we do know about these tractors, so let's check them out. The 185 will have exactly 185 horsepower, a semi power shift transmission, holds 395 liters of fuel, goes 24 miles per hour or 40 kilometers per hour, and weighs 10.5 tons. Customization options range from wheels, front weight, window tent, rear hitch, and seat material. As for the 230, it's very similar with 234 horsepower, a power shift transmission, 410 liters of fuel, weighs 13 tons. Customization options are identical. Connect Modding recently sent me an email with some goodies in it, so keep an eye out for those on the coming soon video, stuff like that, and keep an eye out for these mods releasing in two weeks on Friday, March 29th. Next up, Ada Modding says that their Massey Ferguson MF23 Cultivator is back with Giants for testing for all platforms. It was originally part of the old gen Massey pack back in Farm Sim 17, a lot of you guys remember that, which has been returning in pieces over the last few years. This model is a 5 meter cultivator and Adub has added color options to the frame and the tines so that you can customize it to your liking. It's going to cost you $6,500, requires 88 horsepower, 5 meter working with, 10 miles an hour, and weighs 1.8 tons. This was a very popular cultivator back in the day, as you were able to buy it cheap and it didn't require much horsepower. It was the original OP cultivator for starting farms, and it is so great to see it returning. And lastly today, Rawson Mods has announced a new partnership with Bailey Trailers to bring some of their products to Farm Sim 22. Bailey is the leading brand of agriculture trailers in the UK, where Ross is located, and he's very excited to be working with them. This model is one of the work in progress mods, but Ross does say should give you a taste of what's to come. I've only used a few Bailey trailers in Farm Sim, and I'm not really that familiar with them, but it is great to see more heading our way. Also, congratulations to Rawson Mods on the release of his crane today. I think it's epic. Make sure you guys go give it a try. And you should try it. It give go, you sure make so. Epic. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to everything we talked about today can be found in the description. And you can check out the entire video in the form of a news article on farmsimnews.com thanks to Yoast Modding. Remember, there are no release dates for mods unless there is one. So no one knows when any mods are going to be released. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on all the biggest news and top stories going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, join the GoHam fam. Make sure that notification bell's on as well. That way, you never miss videos like this one. All that being said, just hope you have a great day and an awesome weekend. We will see you Monday. Rildo, have you used that crane yet? Thing is epic.